Welcome to Graphing Tangent and Cotangent, Part 1. So today we're going to take a look at graphing the tangent and cotangent functions. So in order to help us out with these, we're going to look at the points. Uh, we call tangent of 0 is 0. Tangent of 45 degrees, which is pi over 4, is 1. Tangent at 90 degrees is undefined. Tangent at 135, we're going to, we should remember, is negative 1. And it's 180, we're back to 0. Now we're going to talk about that in a second because what's going to happen is tangent will just repeat itself. Okay, and that's very important for us because tangent doesn't have a period of 2 pi like sine and cosine. Tangent repeats every 180 degrees. So tangent's period is 180 degrees or pi radians. Okay? So tangent has a different period than what we're used to. So if we want to graph tangent, something very easy to do is know where the asymptotes are. So what you can do with that, with tangent, you're going to graph the asymptotes, which, is at nine, which are pi over 2's. Remember pi over 2. Remember pi over 2, since we're counting by pi uh, over 6's, becomes 3. So we can count over 3. 1, 2, 3. So here's a pi over 2, 1, 2, 3. Now that's pi, but remember pi it does have a value. It's at 0 there. We'll talk about that in a second. 1, 2, 3. Here's 3 pi over 2. So tangent is going to have asymptotes at pi over 2s. Okay, and there we go. Now, we can also, get, of course, go backwards, negative pi over 2, 1, 2, 3. There's negative pi over 2. And 1, 2, 3. Now, this is a pi over 2, but remember, that's negative pi. 1, 2, 3. Negative 3 pi over 2. Draw an asymptote. And here's at negative 2 pi, not an asymptote. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw our asymptotes first. Now, to graph tangent, one thing to remember, just going to graph a few points. At 0, the value is at 0. Now, we mentioned this 45 degrees. So 45 degrees, if you remember, is in between 0 and pi over 2. So that's where 45 is. And we're told that the value is 1. So what that's telling us is tangent goes up towards the asymptote in this direction. And on the other side, it's going to go down. It's not going to go back up, but it's going to go back down. It almost looks like a cubic graph. So sometimes we say tangent looks cubic. Don't get me wrong, though. It's not cubic, so be very careful. So if I go to the pi, remember that's 180 degrees. Same thing. It's going to look the same shape because what happens is it repeats every pi radians. So after pi, it goes up and before it goes down. So at 2 pi, we can kind of figure out what it's going to look like. It's going to go down. And at negative pi, same thing. It's going to go up. And we get that just from two points. Remember, we plug 0 and we plugged in our 45 degrees. And that gives me two points and we got tangent. So if you just know those two, you can actually get the tangent graph. And this is what tangent looks like. So a way to remember, we say the tangent of theta goes up. Okay? We say tangent goes up. And its zeros are at like 0, pi, 2 pi, so on and so forth. Okay? And its asymptotes, which we're going to talk about in a second, its asymptotes are at the pi over 2's. Pi over 2, plus or minus, we talked about this the other day, now it's going to repeat every pi, every 6 tick mark, so plus or minus pi k. So the general equation for tangent, very easy, we should know this one, y equals a, tangent b, theta minus c, plus d. The domain is going to be everything but the asymptotes. We talked about this yesterday, x such that x cannot equal our asymptotes, which we just wrote, pi over 2, plus or minus pi k. And the range, take a look at the range, it's going to be all real. And that's okay to write it that way. And we talked about this, the period, it repeats every pi. Now, to get the equation of the asymptotes, we already have that. x equals pi over 2 plus or minus pi k. And then get two specific asymptotes. I'll just pick one. Pi over 2, 
x equals uh, negative pi over 2. All right, that's cool. We got those. Sorry about that. There they are. And down here are some notes for you to help you out here. Not too bad to do. Okay, so very easy to do. Find where the function is undefined. That's your asymptotes. Find the period. So we're going to use and uh, graph the tangent function. So cotangent's very similar to it if we take a look at it. But the difference is cotangent, what's going to be different is where our undefines are. Cosine is cotangent undefined at zero. Still one here. And at 90, it's going to equal zero. Negative one. So it just kind of switches. So at 180 degrees, it's going to be undefined again. Positive one. And if you notice, it's still repeating itself every pi. So it goes undefined, one, zero, negative one. Undefined, one, zero, negative one. Undefined. So again, its period is still pi. It's going to repeat every 180 degrees or pi radians. Okay? So to get cotangent, same thing, we graph the asymptotes, but this time the asymptotes are at zero. And pi, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's pi, and the next one will be at two pi. And we go the opposite way. Whoop, forgot my zero asymptote. Don't forget that one. Negative pi, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. Draw an asymptote. And, of course, the next one's at negative 2 pi, right over here, way over here. And we're going to graph points. Well, to get this one, be careful. I'm going to graph these two points. These are what I graph. If I just graph those two points, I'll be okay. Well, here's pi over 2. At pi over 2, 90 degrees, we're told the value is 0. But at 45 degrees, in between here, there's 45 degrees, we're told the value is 1. So this time, it's not going up, but it's going down. Matter of fact, that's what we say. The cotangent of the angle goes down when you graph it. And it has zeros at 0, oops, sorry, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and so on and so forth. So... There's my another one. Go to the middle. There it is. So basically, you just find the middle, and you go down, like so. It's going to look the same. It repeats itself. Every, every pi, every six blocks, it repeats itself. It looks the same. It's like the same exact graph. Go over here. Same thing. Goes down. Goes up. Over here. We're going to go down, and then we're going to go up. And there's our cotangent graph. And it, of course, it has our asymptotes are going to be at the zeros this time. Zero plus or minus pi k. Repeats every pi units. Our general equation, y equals a cotangent b theta minus c plus d. The domain, again, everything but the asymptotes. x cannot equal zero plus or minus pi k. The range, just like tangent, all real. And the period, same thing, pi. So, get the equation of our asymptotes. We already have that. We get 0 plus or minus pi k. And name any two. 0, pi, have fun. Oops, oh, sorry, 0 and pi. Forgot to show you that. And again, same thing. When we graph it, we're going to first find the asymptotes, and then we're going to find the period. So if you need to, go ahead and take a look at this again before you move on to part 2. But I will stop off and say one thing. Remember, the period... For cosine and sine of theta, whoops, that's awful. For cosine and sine of theta is 2 pi over b. But for tangent and cotangent, our period, to get that, it's going to be just pi over b. Okay? A little bit easier to do. So look at this again if you need to, and go into part two when you're ready.